Okay, Lambo fans, so here's another one. We got the 2016 Lamborghini Centenario Roadster by Hot Wheels. And uh, I picked it up because it's a main line, it's pretty expensive. I figured I'd do a little 3D wheel project. So let's take a closer look at this thing. So, as usual, I try to, you know, get an understanding of the scale of Hot Wheels because it's kind of all over the place. But I just hoping to happen to have the Kyosho version. And if you want to learn about this car, I did a review of this uh, back on January 30th, 2021. It's mixed in with a few other Kyoshos. But uh, this is a really fantastic model, really. It's, it's fabulous. Anyways, uh, so this is 164 scale. So let's just take a look at the wheelbase here. Yeah, I guess, well, yeah. Hot Wheels is a little small. The axles aren't lining up 100% perfect, but it's kind of close as well. No, no, it's definitely, you know, the it's smaller than the Kyosho by far. So here's a little top view. Yeah, it's also narrower, so it's smaller, that's for sure. I don't know exactly how much smaller, but if it if it really bothers you, just get the Kyosho, because they're still available online. So, okay, well, let's take a look at this thing here. Uh, go. So I'm not going to be super critical being a, a mainline Hot Wheels, right? But uh, from the side, I guess say it does look like a Lamborghini. It looks like the car in the photo behind here. Unfortunately, this is a massive... Oh, that was a contaminant in the paint and it totally flaked off. I just knocked it out. So now I have a paint chip. Okay, but you got this little uh, vent in front of the rear wheels. So you got the vent here and that's just blacked out, blocked off, of course. The door handle recesses are, are nice though. This one is recessed. On the car, this is supposed to be flush, but you know, they can't do much with such a small, old, small slot. Obviously these wheels are not the same as the real one, but they're at least five spokes like the real car has. So we've got the nice fence here on the side as well. Pretty good. It goes in pretty deep. I like it. Okay, look at to the back though. That's not bad. Not a bad effort actually. Um, the printing of the Lamborghini seems to be legible. Maybe not the crispest printing, but it's alright. Exhaust pipes there, the, this whole crazy diffuser. And then the painted on taillights, uh, not so good there, not so good there either. Unfortunately, there's supposed to be like a Y shape here. It's almost like the plastic got cut off here. So that molding is not catching the, the essence of the lights as well as it could, I think. That's too bad. But at least there's a gap here, which is true to the real car. Air does pass through there. Okay, going to the top. Oh, well, that's nice. This is the first uh, Hot Wheels I've gotten where, where I see some engine detail. So you got the plastic there and yeah, some indication of uh, cylinder heads and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, let's see about the interior while we're at it. Eh, well the steering wheel is pretty weak. It's just totally flat. But the center console doesn't look so bad. It looks like a screen, some buttons, right? Seats, uh, okay I guess. Dashboard's okay. Got some vents up here. And then the Lamborghini crest here and the headlights. So the crest really isn't legible. It's just a sh indication of the Lamborghini crest. The headlights look better though. I like how Hot Wheels adds these little graphics that look like they're three-dimensional. So that's pretty neat. Uh, we got the molded in grills. I have to add some black paint there. And then this part of belly pan. So it's a pretty good, good job actually. Hmm, what is going on with this? It seems like it's part of the casting. I don't know why though. Is that on the other side? No, it's not. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what that would be. It, it almost seems like it's part of the casting, but it doesn't look like a, a tear off of the, uh, off a sprue or anything. So, and I don't see it on the picture of the real car, so I'm not sure why that would be there. It's a bit of a mystery. If anyone can guess, leave a comment. Anyways, when this thing, uh, let's see, 2018 is when this mold was first made. Got a couple of rivets holding it together, so some eh, decent detail back here. Okay. It's a really light car being a plastic base, but uh, I don't mind. And uh, obviously it's going to roll, but I don't really care if it does. So yeah, I guess, uh, you know... If you don't want to invest in a Kyosho, which is definitely 
like 10 times as much money, maybe 20 times as much money, uh, you know, don't. This is not bad, actually. It's not a bad model. It's, I mean, for the price, it's, it's again, hard to uh, argue with Hot Wheels mainlines. And uh, uh, minus that little contaminant there, the rest of the paint doesn't seem so bad, especially from a mold this old. Mm, not so hot there, but this front end is really smooth. Okay. Well, anyway, so I gotta think about what kind of wheels I'm gonna do because there's, there's no way I'm gonna beat the Kyosho, right? Uh, I'm not gonna make better wheels than that. So I gotta just do something totally different. And uh, I guess I'll stay tuned and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, since I had that Kyosho with uh, pretty good wheels, there was just no reason for me to make uh, the wheels again. So I just made my own design up. So these are like six spokes, some are overlapping, and then uh, the central star doesn't overlap. And there would be a center cap with the lug nuts behind it, but at this small of a scale, I can't uh, actually print out that uh, seam. So anyways, uh, beyond the wheels themselves, well actually there are brakes back there, but I don't think you can see them because there's so many spokes in front of it. Mm. Me, right there at the bottom, you might be able to see the caliper there. Yeah, no big deal, whatever. Uh, I added some black paint here into these vents as well. And then uh, this was a kind of a pain also, this vent here. And then uh, up in the this grill area, I added some black paint as well. So, uh, didn't bother with the, the exhaust pipes. I, I just don't see much area to put silver paint, so I didn't bother doing that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, eh, not much else. No spacers or anything like that. These are printed tires as well, so that's uh, pretty much it. So anyways, it was a fun little project, as I mentioned. Uh, you know, I think this is a great casting for the money. So let's uh, actually go up here. Yeah, so, you know, those are the original wheels, I guess, that came on this thing, but I don't know. At least they're angular wheels that I came up with. Again, like the I said, I have a Kyosho, so there's no reason for me to copy the wheels you see in the photo. So I went with my own angular ones here. So I guess we'll let that take go for a little spin, or not. Okay. Well, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll catch you around.